In this rapidly evolving world of cloud computing, two important roles stand out in shaping the future of cloud applications and cloud platforms, cloud engineers and cloud architects. Right now, I am working as a cloud engineer for my own cloud consulting business. I've also worked as a cloud architect on past projects. So that's why I can give you the real ins and outs of both of these exciting roles. But here is the big question, cloud engineer versus cloud architect. Which career path is right for you? In this video, we'll delve deep into both of these roles, laying out their responsibilities, required skill sets, the career trajectories that they offer, but not just that, I'm also going to share how to become either a cloud engineer or a cloud architect. And as a bonus, I'm also going to tell you which one that you should learn based on my own experience in the cloud industry. Before we get started, you should check out my weekly cloud newsletter where I share free resources, tutorials, boot camps, and so much more helping you make your cloud move. Let's kick things off by dissecting what a cloud engineer does. In essence, cloud engineers are hands-on professionals who implement and manage cloud environments. They are tasked with designing, deploying, and maintaining cloud solutions that are efficient, secure and scalable. From setting up cloud infrastructure to ensuring seamless operation, their role is crucial in the day-to-day -day management of cloud resources. So what are a cloud engineer's responsibilities? Now, the truth is that cloud engineers have a diverse set of responsibilities that involve designing, implementing, maintaining, and securing cloud-based solutions for businesses or cloud projects. Now, the first main responsibility is design and planning, which involves understanding both the technical and business requirements in order to design a cloud solution that solves a project problem. Next comes implementation and deployment. Cloud engineers are responsible for setting up and configuring cloud environments, including migrating existing systems and data to the cloud or integrating new cloud-based solutions with traditional on-premise IT infrastructures, all while using infrastructure's code such as Terraform. Maintenance and management of cloud systems is also a critical part of a cloud engineer's role. They often monitor and maintain cloud systems to ensure optimal performance and use of various cloud management tools to oversee and report on the state of cloud resources. Another big part of a cloud engineer's role is security and compliance. They ensure that the cloud infrastructure meets security best practices and complies with relevant industry standards and regulations. Cloud engineers manage user access, protect against threats, and make sure they audit systems. In a nutshell, cloud engineers are multi-talented professionals. They architect, they code, they focus on security, they create infrastructure, and they perform general platform and system upgrades. Your responsibilities as a cloud architect will include strategic planning, which is developing a comprehensive cloud strategy that aligns with the business objectives. This will include the selection of cloud services and the design of cloud architectures to support growth and change. Of course, you also will be doing design and architecture, which is about creating detailed cloud architectures that meet specific technical and business requirements ensuring integration with existing systems and future scalability. You will also need to understand governance and compliance, establishing and maintaining cloud governance frameworks to ensure the cloud deployments comply with internal policies and external regulations. Another big responsibility of a cloud architect is cost management and optimization, such as analyzing and optimizing cloud costs to ensure efficient resource utilization and financial savings. Another big part of the role is leadership and guidance, leading cloud initiatives and providing expertise to IT and business teams on cloud technologies and architecture best practices is something a cloud architect does very often. So now let's compare the day-to-day -day activities of a cloud engineer and a cloud architect. On projects, cloud engineers are more involved in the operational aspects, executing the plans laid out by a cloud architect. They work on configuring cloud services, the deploying applications and ensuring the health and performance of cloud environments. Now, on the other hand, cloud architects spend their time working with various business stakeholders to understand their business problems and then design
designing cloud solutions, strategizing on cloud adoption to ensure the architecture meets the long-term business needs. Typically, these roles work hand in hand. In my previous workplace, I would work alongside a cloud architect on a client project. And the architect would face up to the client, attend most of the meetings, and then task me to do the technical implementation of the cloud solution based on the architecture that the cloud architect designed. So my role was a lot more hands-on and building. Now, there will also be cases where you are a cloud engineer and there is no cloud architect, which means you will have to do the stakeholder engagement, understand their problems and design a solution, which is why I always tell beginners to learn architecture and system design when pursuing cloud roles as architecture is fundamental to any cloud project. Now, if you want to get started with the cloud and build real world cloud skills through hands-on project-based learning, then you should check out my Cloud Engineer Academy, where I provide you a structured way of learning and guiding you to go from zero to cloud engineer hero, covering the fundamentals, the tools and technologies to learn and become a cloud engineer through self-paced videos, live workshops and portfolio-based projects. Projects. It doesn't matter if you are a beginner. I've taught students who knew nothing about cloud engineering to learning the skill sets and getting hired within the first three to six months. And it doesn't matter what part of the world that you're from. I'm going to teach you everything from top to bottom. Inside the Cloud Engineer Academy, you won't just get access to the course content. You will have access to live workshops, a private Discord community of cloud enthusiasts, interview preparation, my own personal CV template that helped me secure multiple six-figure jobs, and so much more. To find out more, go check out www.cloudengineeracademy.io and see some of the reviews of our current students. I'll also drop a link in the video description. Now, very soon in this video, I'm going to share which one of these roles are best to start with and learn. But now let's compare these roles and understand their differences. Now, the roles of a cloud engineer and a cloud architect are both related to the cloud but they have different focuses. Cloud engineers mainly deal with the technical aspects and cloud services such as the implementation, maintenance, and operation of cloud infrastructure and applications. They are responsible for configuring cloud environments, setting up virtual machines, managing storage and networking, and also ensuring the security of cloud resources. Cloud engineers also troubleshoot and resolve technical issues to make sure cloud services are running efficiently and smoothly. Now, cloud engineers do require technical proficiency in cloud service providers such as AWS, programming and scripting skills with Python, TypeScript, or even Bash, along with infrastructure as code tools like Terraform. Cloud engineers also need a solid understanding of cloud networking concepts, security best practices, and compliance standards. On the other hand, cloud architects play a strategic role in designing cloud solutions and architectures that align with an organization's business objectives. They create the blueprints for cloud infrastructures that support scalability, reliability, and security. Cloud architects work closely with technical teams and business stakeholders to ensure that the cloud architectures align with the overall business strategy. They make high-level design choices and dictate technical standards, including tools, platforms, and software development practices. They are also responsible for optimizing cloud costs and ensuring the cloud solutions are cost effective and make efficient use of resources. Cloud architects require expertise in cloud service architecture, best practices, and cloud provider ecosystems. They also need communication skills, very strong ones, and the ability to assess risks ensure compliance with industry regulations and implement governance framework around cloud usage. Now, cloud engineers can specialize in specific areas such as cloud security, DevOps, AI, architecture or operations. They can progress to a senior engineer role with enough experience and strategic vision. They can also transition into cloud architecture or management positions. Now, cloud architects typically have a background in cloud engineering or software development before stepping into this role. They can advance to higher level positions such as chief architect, cloud strategy consultant, or IT director, focusing on the broader technological strategies and innovation. Okay, so we know what both are 
cloud engineer and cloud architect roles are. Their roles and responsibilities, their differences, their career progression. But how do you become a cloud engineer or a cloud architect? Let's break this down. Firstly, it's important to start by learning the fundamental cloud concepts, such as virtualization, operating systems, networking, and databases. These are key concepts that cannot be skipped as they form the baseline for learning more technical concepts in the cloud. Now, once you have a grasp of the fundamentals, the next step is to focus on cloud architecture and system design. A strong understanding of cloud architecture is crucial for cloud engineers as it helps them design cloud-based solutions based on different cloud patterns and concepts such as microservices, serverless architectures, scaling, load balancing, and different types of storage options. Now, of course, it's also important to have hands-on experience in building cloud solutions. For this, it's recommended to learn Git and GitHub for version control, Linux and Bash for scripting, and then dive into the AWS cloud world. Focus on learning the core AWS services that are most used across cloud architectures, such as VPC, IAM, S3, EC2, DynamoDB, CloudFront, and Lambdas. Now, once you have learned the foundations and AWS, now it's time to get into the practical technologies such as Terraform and GitHub Actions. Terraform can be used for infrastructure as code, while GitHub Actions can be used to create continuous integration and continuous deployment pipelines. And finally, hands-on experience is invaluable and it's essential to engage in hands-on projects and real-world scenarios to build some experience. Experiment with cloud services using the AWS free tiers, build projects and gain experience to become a proficient cloud engineer. Now to become a cloud architect, you need engineering experience, either as a cloud engineer or a software developer but let's focus on your transition from a cloud engineer to a cloud architect. It typically requires several years of experience working in the cloud, including hands-on work with cloud technologies, developing and implementing cloud environments, and managing complex cloud infrastructures. You also need to deepen architectural knowledge, thinking strategically about how cloud technologies can solve business problems and developing a strong leadership and communication skills are becoming very much essential to be a cloud architect. Now, you could also specialize in a particular area of the cloud, such as security, data management, or enterprise cloud strategy. And of course, pursuing professional level certifications, such as the Solution Architect Professional AWS certification. Now, it's important to note that becoming a cloud architect without an engineering background specifically without hands-on experience in the cloud or software engineering can be very much challenging and you will likely fail taking this route. However, the journey from cloud engineer to cloud architect is marked by a shift from hands-on technical work to strategic planning and design, requiring a blend of technical expertise and business acumen, and of course, leadership skills. Therefore, continuous learning and practical experience remain key drivers of success in these evolving cloud roles. So finally, we are here. Which one should you choose and become? Well, the answer is very simple you should always focus on hands-on engineering roles first, and that being a cloud engineer. And then as you gain experience and gain confidence and becoming better at solving problems, communication, and building cloud projects, you can start to transition into cloud architect roles. As these roles move away from the day-to-day -day coding to hands-on technical problem solving, leadership, and working with key business stakeholders. Drop a comment below if you're learning the cloud this year. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.